everyone. Yeah, I'm moving to Nashville next weekend and um, haven't started packing at all. So this is the first day that I'm packing. I'm downstairs. I've got all my clothes to go through. Hopefully I can get rid of half of those. So I don't have to take everything. And um, yeah, moving to Nashville. Hello everyone. Um, welcome to my moving vlog. Um, if I look like shit, it's cause I feel like shit. This is day two of packing. Um, oh my God, where do I start? I don't even, oh my God. So I'm gonna spend the first uh, couple minutes of the vlog just talking, answering a lot of questions people have. Um, yes, we're moving to Nashville. We live in San Diego right now. We are moving to Nashville. I spent like 12 hours packing yesterday. Um, it's 5 p.m. today. I've been packing all day. Um, God, I forget, I forget how bad moving sucks ass, dude. It sucks, but okay, answer a few questions. We're moving to Nashville. Um, who's all moving? Me, Greg, Maggie, Beth, who are my two sisters. Maggie's um, kids, Lola and Liv, they're 10 and 12, they're moving. Libby is moving. Paige, Brett, and Jerry are moving. We're all moving. Um, Maggie moved out there about a month ago. She wanted to get out there a little earlier. We were on tour. We just got back from tour like two weeks ago. Um, she wanted to get there about a month early just to get the girls kind of settled before school starts. Um, Paige, Brett, and Jerry actually got there yesterday. So they left a few days ago. They got there yesterday. So they're moving in today. They got a house. Um, and then Libby will be there next week and, and I'm packing. So I'll, we're going to leave here in, here, here in a few days. And, um, uh, living situations. Lots of you, of you have asked about living situations. Um, so I splurged and, and I bought three properties. Okay. Um, uh, uh, I can't think straight. You guys so tired. <laughs> um, I bought land, which is the whole purpose of our move. That's that's why we wanted to move. To, we we wanted to move to either, originally it was Texas. We wanted to move back to Texas. Uh, we wanted to live in the Austin area. It was so fucking expensive that we couldn't find any anything like that we wanted or that we could afford above like three or four acres. So um, we decided on Nashville. We bought over a hundred acres in uh, just right outside of Nashville. And, um, we're moving because that's the that's the main reason we wanted to, we wanted land you can't get that in southern california you can't um unless you're like a billionaire and even then you can't get like more than i mean it's just not possible um we wanted to eventually build that was the main purpose um also just it's cheaper to live um there's a lot of reasons it just felt right so i bought land I also bought a house um, just right down the road from the land that we're going to live in um, until, you know, we can get the, the land situated. The land is completely undeveloped, so there's no water, electric roads, nothing. So that's going to take time to get, you know, to get uh, ready. So the house I bought is just a little three-bedroom, um, uh, you know, house. Who's going to live there for right now? Me, Libby, and Beth. Um, um, Greg is not leaving San Diego, um, for another probably five or six months. He wants to finish out, well, there's multiple reasons. He wants to finish out the year at work. And number two, we've got, um, we've got, uh, construction going on at this house in San Diego. We're keeping this house. We're not selling it. Um, we're probably going to rent it out just for the time being, but there's construction going on in the back of the property. We're leveling some land. And then also we have two driveways and those need to be um, redone. There's just things, we, we're, we're, we're redoing the floors. We're redoing a bunch of stuff that he somebody needs to be here for. So he's gonna be here for that. Um, 
so yeah, for the time being, it'll be me, Beth, and Libby in the house. And then I bought another house um, in town. It's a, um, it was built in the 1960s and it still has the original uh, pink and green bathrooms, uh, which is why I bought it. I wanted to uh, buy an investment property. And eventually, when I have time, I'm gonna turn that into a really cool um, time capsule Airbnb. So Maggie and the girls are living there in the meantime. Um, what other questions do you have? And then Paige, Brett, and Jerry, you know, got their own place. So that's kind of the living situations um, right now. Um, gosh, did you guys have any more? I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, eventually, I'm going to build, you know, a house and, and everything that I want on the land. It's going to take time because I'm, I mean, I'm house broke right now. I, was, I put all my money into, into the move. And just moving's expensive, dude. Buying the freaking boxes and tape and bubble wrap. Jesus. I mean, damn. It's expensive. Um, so, yeah, it's just going to take time to, to build on the land. You know, I, I probably, it'll probably be a few years, two or three years. Let me save up some money. Let me, you know do all that and then yeah so this is our moving vlog i'm kind of gonna uh kind of show you around well actually right now i'm gonna go eat a hot pocket and then when i'm done with that i'm going to kind of show you around the house i've already started packing a lot of stuff show you what i've packed i'm gonna vlog the trip out there me and beth are gonna drive out there and um yeah here we go oh and one more thing as i'm on my way to make a hot pocket I know people are gonna ask, um, but no, I did not convince, I did not have to convince anybody to move. And if nobody wanted to move, I don't think we would have right now. We probably would have waited a while, um, a couple years at least, but I, I literally went to like Maggie and Beth and Paige and everybody and I was like, hey, you guys wanna move to Nashville? And they all just literally go, yeah. That was literally it. So ham and cheese is my favorite hot pocket. What's yours? All right, Biffy just went and got a tattoo. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Check her out. It's just the tree, but it's um, more coming soon. Should I tell them or should yeah. we just wait? Yeah, tell them because the random tree looks random. You they're they're tell like, them. huh? Tell okay, them. so I'm going to get a long neck dinosaur bronchiosaurus. Here, let me put Titit down. And it's going to be um, basically eating off of the tree. And on the other side of it, there's going to be the Land Before Time characters, those little dinosaurs. They're also going to be cool. eating off the same tree. Also, look we at my bed. get this much Dante. So. Look at my bedroom. What the fuck's wrong with you? What is happening right In now? the middle of packing and going through shit and packing and going through shit and packing and going through shit and is packing and going through shit and packing and going through shit and then packing and packing and packing and packing and packing. Is this the box that you're going to give? To no, you? it's not. It should be. All right, I'm going to show you guys what's up. All that's being donated. Um, what else is going on? Here's the living room. Currently in shambles. Um, yeah. Um, let's, let's step outside on, onto our deck. We're, we're uh, redoing the deck. Greg's redoing the deck. Look at our, uh, look at our view. In our home in San Diego. Gonna miss it. All right, back to packing. Guess what? <clears throat> it's 10 p.m. I just stopped um, um, packing for the day. Boxes. And I've got a headache. And I never get headaches. But I got a headache. And I was like, hmm, let me go get some... Uh, you know, aspirins. Guess what? Packed them. Yesterday. <laughs> Hello. I want to let everyone know that I've got about 75% mm, of my beauty products packed. And I still have. Dude. I didn't realize how much like product how much products I buy. And a K Jewelers box, 
I've never bought anything from Cade Jewelers in my fucking life. So that's weird. Oh, and that whole basket's full of uh, pro beauty products as well. There is some Monistat in there. Because you never know. You never know when you're going to need that. But that is full. This is full of, pro of products, dude. Beauty products, face masks, skincare. It's like, hey, honeys, need to stop buying beauty products here. Hello. Hello. Look what we're wearing. Aww. Somebody, somebody made those for me in Lexington, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And brought them to the and show. They were so sweet. I remember them. Yep. So we're married. We're taking a break from um, from packing. Yes. And we are at Texas Roadhouse. About to go eat a dozen rolls. Here we go. All right, movers are here. I'm tired. Biffy, I'm sad. I'm sad too. I've literally just been like reminiscing on all the fucking shit that's happened in this house. Oh, dude. So much. We. In so many places. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not together, though. Let's just say that. Never together. Nasty. Well, I, we had to make that clear. Really? We had, we had to clarify? <laughs> we had to clarify that? <laughs> I'm sad, but it's you know sad. what? It's very sad, but... What's up? Uh, was there something coming from downstairs? Yes. Can you, can you put it sure. out? Back to it. Look at that ass. Let's take a... Let's take a look. Bedroom's empty. That's all Greg shit that's staying. The only thing that they're taking in here is my dresser. And Biffy's going to redo the top when we get to Nashville. Because that whew, needs needs to be redone. Bathroom's empty. I mean, I'm leaving some stuff for Greg. That's all his stuff. Um, but yeah, dude. This is it. We're moving. Oh, it's empty. This is staying, that's staying because we don't have room. So we're going to take that when Greg moves because we have to take it down. Um, sad. front yard wowzers so this is Greg's dad's trailer there's big mama and a random cat just showing y'all around All right, so what you thinking? How you feeling? Oh God, it's, it's very yeah. weird. It's weird. It's very weird. I'm sad. I am too. Did you see the giant fucking hole? The giant hole? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I showed them all ago. I mean, I showed them. I am. Dude, this scares me. And then, there's, we're doing shit on the back of our property. We're leveling the back of our property, so. Is safe? Yeah, I want you to go ahead and just, Dude, they've been walking across it. Oh, hell no. Hell no. So that's why you see the... I would show you, but... There's tractors back there. Biffy, I'd like to take... I would like to take the... Um, the um, lounge chairs. And the blue... And that those blue ones. I think they'll fit. Alright, we'll go. Can we take those? Because, so, look, there's one right there. And there's one right there. I want to take both of those. And then, and then my, my blue chip, my blue, uh, chairs. Sad. Very sad. Here, let me get you. Hello everyone. Welcome to my vlog. We're moving. Movers are here. Am I backlit? No, you're great. Movers are here. Wow. That's such a, that's such a, uh, actor slash influencer thing of me to say. I feel very douchey. Um, <laughs> movers are here. Uh, 
Shake them titties. <gasps> the movie just saw me. <laughs> um, yeah, we're moving. We're moving to Nashville. So that's what we're doing today. The, we have some awesome guys helping us out because... Theo and Rick. Theo and Rick. Uh, they're helping us. Oh, Beth, I woke up this morning and my feet and legs were pounding. Oh, Just because we've been... Yes. We've been going hard. We've been going hard, like physically, like moving. You know, it's like... So I was like, man, we need some helpers to help us move from A to B. So they're here. Uh, and then we leave tomorrow. Where are we going? Nashville. Oh. Nashville or bust, bitches. I'm not forgetting the flamingo. Yeah. I have no clue why he's wearing those glasses. Oh, somebody's already been unhooking it. They're getting Lola's swing out of the tree. Be careful. Do you want to take the deer? Nah, leave the deer here. Really? With this one antler? We found that on the side of the road. It's been in our front yard ever since. I don't think it's moved from that spot. No. <laughs> what else? Let me go. Let me. Move this button. Move this button. There you go. Let me go do a one over. Okay. A once over in the living room. Oh, and I don't know if I've ever showed y'all this. It was good, thank you. Greg brought me a burger for lunch. Um, so our house is built around boulders, so these are real on the side of the, we're on like a, not I wouldn't say a mountain, but I guess te technically it is. Anyway, that's like a uh, pond, koi pond, whatever. We just, we've never done anything with it. So there's that. Um, <clears throat> <sighs> a lot of this is going, Biffy's moving in a couple weeks, so a lot of it's going when she moves, because we don't have room in the trailer, and then, you know, Greg, when he moves, we're taking the rest, so, yep, all right, we're leaving, hi guys, we're driving to Nashville, it's like 7 a.m., it's 7 states, <laughs> leaving, one. I'm leaving, Pookie, I'm gonna miss you, yeah, well, I'll see you in a week, yeah, and then we get to go somewhere special. Oh, sorry. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye, Tito. Bye-bye. Be careful. Gotta keep each other awake. We will. You're the one I gotta worry about, Dad. Got some lemons for the road? Hello, everyone. We are about two hours outside of Nashville. And uh, a couple hours ago, I was thinking, wow. We're gonna make this trip without getting pulled over. And by the way, I have not been pulled over in a very long time. And wouldn't you know, about five minutes ago, we hear lights right behind me, and I'm thinking, me? Huh? So I'm like, all right. So I pull over. The cop was really cool and kind of hot. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right and he pulled me over and he asked me to get out of the car and I've never been asked to get out of the car. So I was like, that was weird. I go, was I swerving? Does he think I'm drunk? Dear Lord, I hope he gives me one of those tests and I hope Beth is filming it. <laughs> and he was just like, he told me that I was, um, he told me that I was following, following a car way too close, like right up, like feet from him going like 80 and that they switched lanes and I got right behind them again. And I go, and I, I didn't say I didn't, but I know that wasn't me because I don't do that. Like, I don't ride people's asses because all they got to do is he breaks and I, we're done. You know what I mean? So I don't, I, he goes, he goes, and it, it took me a long time to, to get back up to you. And I thought, and I know that wasn't me, Beth. Was it? Mm -mm. It was not me. It was not you. Anyway, he started asking me questions. He was really cool. He started asking me questions and uh, asked me what I did. And I was like, oh, God. I was like, I'm a comedian. <laughs> and he goes, no. -uh. I go, yeah. Anyway, long story short, he's going to look me up. And he was like, he goes, that's so funny. Maybe you could do a video about this. And I go, oh, I've got a lot of cop videos. And he goes, do you really? I go, bro. Look me up. You'll know who I am. You'll know who I am. You'll know who I am. He goes, all right, all right. So, you guys.
guys were almost to Nashville and uh, just got pulled over. So, moral of the story oh, is we did not get a ticket. I wonder why. I think because I'm Triple T. He goes, he goes, man, wait till I tell everybody I pulled over Triple T. I go, they'll know who I am. <laughs> I pulled that car. I go, they'll know. They'll know. <laughs> All right, we made it home, or we made it to Maggie's. Oh my God. My ass bone hurts. Gigi, go get your brother. Go get your brother. Go get your brother. Go get your brother. Really? Hi. <laughs> Where's Gary? Where's Gary? The fat back. <gasps> He's going nuts for he jumped, <sighs> jumped out of my arms. They for her. missed each other. He, They've never been apart. No. Maggie, he jumped out of my arms for her. He's happy. He loves his sister. He's happy. everyone I'm back the um, the last slides you saw on the vlog were from a couple weeks ago I uh, went to Dallas and Los Angeles to shoot my calendar so that's where I've been shooting the calendar but I got back a few days ago and we've been just unpacking and getting everything situated in the house and everything now I'm gonna do a little house tour guide for you we don't have shit up on the walls we don't have a TV in the living room I don't have the rugs down yet. You know when you move and you unpack and everything's in its place, but it's still a shithole and a, you know what I'm talking about? Like that's what it is, okay? After this, I'm going to go show you guys Maggie's house. We don't even live near an airport. Anyway, after this, I'm gonna go show you guys Maggie's house, do a little tour there and we have a ghost story for Maggie's house. And best behind the camera, say hi, Beth. Hi. First off, I want to show you guys Smoker's Paradise. Beth, go ahead and show them Smoker's Paradise. And this is where Libby sits on the porch. Um, quite a bit, I would say. I'd say 70% of the time. She's out here a lot. And if she's not in the house, if I'm like, Libby, and she don't answer, she's in Smoker's Paradise, which is this area right here. And I got a new chair. An uh -huh. X, it's an XXL. Mm -hmm. um, I have a trash can out here. Get a shot of her smoking cup. Just a few cigarettes in the ashtray. Jesus. And just, a tray table, just in case I need to do some work. Uh -huh. It's the table for me. And if you think, oh, man, they're fake white trash. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Okay. All right. So, let's go in. Hello, everyone. So, this is our house. And like I explained, nothing's up, nothing's whatever, but y'all wanted kind of a visual. So, here's my new furniture. A big difference from, you know, my big green couch, but my big green couch wouldn't fit in here. So, I wanted to go for comfort, not looks. All right, on into my bedroom. Um, I've been I'm packing and unpacking, so blah, 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 blah. Um, this is my bedroom. Uh, this house is a, literally a third of the size of our other house, so we're packed in tight. I had to get rid of shit. I had to make do, and, and, uh. That's nice. How did, yeah. how did that get? That's, that's real nice. Oh, yeah. Beth hung that up. Thank you, Biffy. You're welcome. On into my bathroom. Here's my bathroom. Here's what it is, and there's my bathroom floor, and uh, here's all my stuff, and uh, that's the bathroom. Come this way. All right. Here's my dining room. Right here. There's my dining room. Okay, 
And then here's the kitchen. I've got all my tea stuff. I'm trying to, you can come in Libby. You can come in honeys. I'm trying to um, drink tea every morning. Um, shh, shh. Here's my uh, floor mats. Is this yours, Beth? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, let me see what I got in my fridge. This is my fridge. Um, we've got some milk, uh, some little seizures, some Cokes. I've got some uh, cottage cheese. Okay, let's see what we got in the freezer. Hot pockets, hot pockets, a DiGiorno, and some, and some, yeah. Okay, let's look. Let's take a look at our, uh, at our, uh, what's it called? Laundry room here. This is real tight, but you know I packed up. You know most, you know stuff that I needed. Biffy painted it pink for me. Pussy Cause pink, because it, it was like hideous. It, it was it's just dirty and five different colors. Yeah, and... it was not. You know. We had some extra paint from the podcast room, so she just painted this. So there's that. Also, let's go see Libby's bathroom. Come, come this way. Is she in there? Hey, honey, no, no need to get out. There's Libby's bathroom. Just getting my mustache off. Okay, that's her. Uh, that's Can her I bathroom. Show you the elderly thing in my bathroom. hundred percent, please. I wasn't gonna say nothing. <laughs> I didn't even know you had this. It's amazing. It is amazing. And it makes it just easier for you to shower. You just sit on and shower. Just shower and sh shower and spray. And I put a sprayer up too. She put her own sprayer up. Get a shot of sprayer. Yep. She put a sprayer up. Nice. Now let's show them Libby's bedroom. Come this way. Here's Libby's bedroom. And I was actually in here with her last night. We were laughing at the new video. I posted a new video and we were laughing at it. So this is Libby's room. Her cat's in here somewhere. Uh, Annie, she's under the bed hiding. And uh, got stuff on the wall and got her stuff here. And, that looks safe. Yeah. And uh, she said if there was a fire and she died, she... That's my fault. She said that she, if there was a fire and she died, she was going to sue me. <laughs> That's fair. So that, is, that is pretty fair. Okay. Now let's go ahead and go into the podcast room. This is the podcast room. We're, we're packed in pretty tight here. As you can see, we've got all the all the stuff here. and That's where Brett and Maggie sit. And Paige sits there. I sit there. And uh, get a shot of those, Biffy. Those are me. And uh, there's more me. And uh, me again. And this is, where we sh this is where we shoot the pod. This is our podcast room. And then what else do we get? That's it. Let's go down and show them your apartment. Let's go. Hello everyone, now we're in the garage. Um, so this staircase leads up to our main house. We're in the garage, which is downstairs. And um, uh, uh, the garage is what, 1200 square feet? Pretty big. 1500 square feet, it's a huge garage. We have turned maybe a third of it, less than half, into Beth's apartment. Now. It's not finished. It's almost finished. Your apartment is what? I think it's probably 500 square feet. I guess. Five, six, it's pretty good size. Um, so this is our garage. It's just a bunch of shit. We're eventually, I would like to kind of clean this up. Maybe put a new floor. Like, you know those nice, like really fl like cool floor floors? That's what I want to do. So, when you come in, Beth's gonna have her own door. Obviously, I'm gonna have Big Mama here, okay? Mm -hmm. And then she's gonna walk into this. It's gonna be her. Uh, there's not a whole lot of light in here, but it'll be all right. So this is gonna be Biffy's apartment. Come with me. Come on in. Come on in. So we do this apartment. There's gonna be a little area for a little living room, a little uh, closet, a little bedroom. It's kind of a studio apartment type thing. It's got a big old bathroom. Her bathroom's like, Beth, your bathroom's twice the size of mine, if yeah. not three times the size of mine. It's pretty nice. She's got it made down here. Um, so this is all in Biffy's bathroom. Hopefully, in there. hopefully it'll be done soon. That'd be nice. Um, and yeah, 
yeah, uh, should we go show them the uh, deck? Yeah. Because I feel like we skipped that and people are going to ask about that. Uh -huh. Let's go back up. I'm going to have a kitchen here, bookshelf there, closet here, dildo case there. Wow. What? Wow. Hello, everyone. Me here. Hey, honeys. You there. That ass, though. Back in the house. Alright, so this is technically, I guess, the back door. There is a large deck out here. So it's kind of, it's hard to explain. Like, we're kind of up high. You can't walk on this deck. Oh, very rotten. Rotted needs to be replaced. So mm -hmm. we haven't even walked out there. Um, nope. I'm in no rush to get that a new deck up because we have other shit going on, but eventually we will have a new deck out there. So um, yeah, you guys, that's, that's the house tour. Hope you enjoyed my house. Now, let me go show you Maggie's house. Let's go. Bobby, get in here and show everybody your damn house. Lord. Get in here. Hold on, I'm trying to catch Gary. God, going nuts. <laughs> you rolling? I'm rolling. Okay, this is the kitchen. <laughs> God, you're not good at this. This is the kitchen. Okay, so everybody walks through the back. Like It's one of those houses that the front entrance is kind of not near the parking, so we, go, we come through the back. Yeah, this is called the den. Uh, this is the den, a.k.a. the dog's potty room. Uh-huh. There's carpet in here. Yep. And it's still messy. I'm still trying to put stuff up. I love that uh, uh, stone fireplace. I know. It's so pretty. Okay. This is it. Okay. Let's, let's, we'll, start back, we'll start back here. Back here. This is... This is one of the reasons that I bought the fucking house. Pink bathroom. All original 1960s pink tile bathroom. Check that out. Okay. It's got wood floors. This is Lola's room. That's Lola's room. It's a little messy. And we got a story about this room. Oh God. Coming. Okay. Walk down the hall. This is Liv's room. Liv's room. Okay. Gary's Holy. room. Olive. This is Gary's room right here. This is Gary's room. This is Gary's room. AKA my room. Uh, and then there's a green bathroom right here. It's it's messy. I forgot you were coming. No, it's okay. I, I told I told everybody we're still unpacking. Yeah. Look. I know. Do you like those? Yeah, those are cute. Right there. Very cute. Yep. And it's got the old storage. It's got like a, what is it? Like an old a hamper, like a like built-in. Isn't that cool? It's like weird. It's like off track or something. Yeah. So I don't use it. Yeah. Yeah. This bathroom's super small. Super small. It I is. I barely fit in the shower. It is. Um, All right. Come on down here. And these are just storage closets. And this, I thought this was cool. This closes to the rest of the house. So like you can close the door. And then right here too, there's a door you can like shut off. To the, the living room, room and stuff, yeah. It's it's crazy. Okay. This is a little, this is the front door right here. I like how you hung everything up to it, it looks good. Yeah. This is the front little entrance. Now I don't know if this is original wallpaper or not, but it's like, it's um. It feels like sandpaper. Yeah, it te it's textured, it feels like sandpaper. I've never seen that. I may take this down eventually when I turn it into an Airbnb in a few years. Yeah. I may take that down and put like a really cool vintage, a funky. vintage retro wallpaper. Yeah. Cause I don't know if this was done later or I don't know what it is, but you can't really see it when you come in. You have to really look. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is the living room. This is the living room. It's pretty big. You guys, uh, Remember my green couch that won't fit in my house, so we got to put it in here. This is Beth's bedroom <laughs> for now. Big, big uh, window. 
That's Beth's bedroom for now bedroom until there. her apartment's done. Yep. She's just sleeping wherever. Beth's bedroom. I love it. I'm just crashing. Gary's bedroom. Littles. Oh, he's so happy. And this is the kitchen. Meals on wheels. This is the kitchen. I bought, I recently bought a vintage 1960s green um, fridge to go there. And it's going to fit. It, Perfectly. See, I, it's going to fit way better than this one because it's going to stop right there. Yeah, it's going to look good. It's going to. And it's all, it's works and everything. And I'm looking, I'm on the hunt for a matching um, green oven. So when I redo this, so the goal is to eventually turn this house into an Airbnb. And I'm going to put a really cool um, heart-shaped pool in the backyard make it all funky. Um, I'm going to redo. I'm going to put new uh, linoleum in here, like vintage green linoleum. And I'm going to keep the cabinets the same and then redo. I don't think this is original. No. It, I think they, I, it looks very like 80s, 90s. So I'm going to get rid of this and put a green, like a green vintage. Yeah. And redo the cabinets. Yeah. Sandal. I'm going to keep them, but like sand them down and stuff. Yeah. Um, and here's like a little vintage, like they kept their, they probably kept the phones here, like the phone nook. Mm -hmm. And then there's the, uh, garage, the garage in there. The garage is, uh, really, really bad right Yeah, now. we have a lot of like stuff from tour in here. But this is Barbara's garage. Yeah, Barbara. Wash and dry. That's why I do laundry. Yeah. That, that looks nice. The cabinet, yeah, the cat, there's like... There's a lot of cabinets, but they're like little. So yeah. I put all the food out here. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah. So that's uh, that's Maggie's house. I'm gonna wait. Should we wait to do the ghost story when Lola gets back? Should she tell it? Yeah. Well, yeah, we can do that. Okay. All right. Hello, Bye. everyone. Biffy can come out. We're telling the ghost story on the Hello, everyone. On the, on the this is a really good story. Pay attention. Oh, thank you, Biffy. Hello, everyone. I'm going to tell the ghost story now. I'm with uh, my niece Lola, and she's here because, well, the ghost story involves her. Uh, so anyway, real quick, before we moved into this house, before they moved into this house, it needed some work. Um, so my best friend, her sister, lives here in Tennessee. Well, her husband, my best friend's sister's husband, is a contractor slash carpenter. So we just hired him to come do the work. Little little uh, little uh, story here is my best friend's sister is a medium. Um, literally, she you know I remember she picked me up from the uh, from the airport once and um, it was late at night and we were driving to her house and she said, "Oh, just to let you know, I don't want to scare you or anything, but uh, there is a there is a male spirit in the car with us." And I'm like, "Okay," so you know she's that type of person. So anyway. She told us that her and her husband were here doing the work and she texted me and she goes, Hey, I just want to let you know there's an old man spirit in the house. And I was like, great, <laughs> great, wonderful. Oh, and Chelsea did not tell us. No, here and hear me out. I did not tell Maggie or anybody because I wanted, if they were going to experience something, I wanted them to experience on their own. And I didn't want them to move in being scared or being, you know what I mean? And I'm glad you didn't tell so, us. Because we would have. Yeah. We would have been terrified. So basically I was like, I ain't saying shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Because you may have not experienced anything. Yeah. So I didn't say anything. Well, they moved in. And, you know, you want to take over? Yeah. Um, well, um... My stuff was moving in my bedroom on my vanity, like my perfume was rearranging and my whole vanity rearranged one day. I bought her vanity for her birthday when they first, like the first week y'all were here. And so she's got her vanity, there's like perfume and all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. And it has like flowers on top of it. Um, and then my perfume kept moving around and I was getting real mad because I thought, well, Liv or her mom was going into my room and like moving my stuff around. Well, it's been off for like two weeks and I kept getting real mad and um, mom was like, I swear on Gary's life, it's not me and Liv. Well, I didn't expect her to move my perfume. You thought mom was going in when you were at school and, and moving your stuff around. Yes. And Maggie, you were like, Lola, I'm not moving your stuff. For about two weeks, I kind of blew it off and I was like, I'm, it's not me. It's not me. I didn't think nothing of it. And then <laughs> finally we were like, oh, maybe it's a ghost. Yeah. Yeah. So then 
Um, well, that was like Sunday, and then I went to school on Monday, and my teacher asked me like, how was my weekend and stuff, and I was like, I didn't expect her to take this all serious or whatever, but I was like, well, I'm kind of being haunted. Um, and she was like, I know, I could like feel the spirit in like his, like, his presence energy, around his you, presence yeah, around you, and I was like, that that's creepy. But anyway, and she she was telling me like his name. His name is Alan. She was telling me what he looked like. Um, she knew how to get to my bedroom from our front door, um, she which knew, is weird. Which is very weird for a teacher to know that just by looking at me. Yeah, um, she the teacher knew the the whole layout of the house. Yeah. Yes, um, and. <clears throat> We, we, me and my mom were outside gardening, not gardening, but like in picking weeds, picking weeds and stuff. And we found like tomato plants and onion, like in the ground. And she told me that they had had a garden. Well, that turned out to be true because there was stuff in the, in the ground. And she, uh, she said that like, she knew how to get to my bedroom. She knew that there were like flowers on my vanity and I didn't even tell her that I had a vanity or anything. She knew all that. And she knew that I had like stuff on the shelves to where he could play with it. And she said that he's a nice old man. He doesn't like want to like scare us. He doesn't know that he's scaring us. He's like, he just, cause his wife passed away before his, um, before he did, my teacher told me. And um, so my bedroom was her creative like artsy room. Craft room craft room yeah. yeah and so he was in my room because it reminded him of her and he would move my stuff around because he would like go in there and mess with his wife's stuff and after she died he would go into her craft room which is now lola's room my room um <laughs> and he would like move my vines and stuff because i would notice that whenever i would get home like my vines would be all weird and I didn't think nothing of it, and then I was like, okay, something's up. Um, yeah. So, so, yeah. So, yeah, we have a ghost named Alan. He doesn't know he's scaring everybody. But he's fun to talk to. Uh, your teacher told you that you're can that you going to need to go in your room and... Uh, Ask him to leave. Leave you, say, you don't live here anymore, but please. Lola says she don't want to do that, because now that she knows that he's nice, she's cool with him. <laughs> she told him me, stay. she told me she told him, told him he could stay. And I was like, why'd you do that? Don't be inviting shit. <laughs> Don't be inviting well, yeah, him. I felt bad because he just misses his wife in Aww. my room and he's just dead laying there. God. So, I felt bad. so like, this is your home. You can yeah. stay. And we've just had like multiple things move. Just random stuff like throughout the house. Yeah. Just oh, stuff will move. Gary staring at the wall. So, Gary seen him one day. Yeah. Um, Gary... Yeah. was sitting in the living room with me and the kids were at school and um he was looking dead at the uh white wall yeah for like five ten minutes just staring at it growling he looked really alert like he was seeing somebody yeah. hey what'd you see baby what'd you see a ghost named alan so that's the ghost story um those are the houses we're now in nashville um, what else? Oh, the camera? Yeah, well, we, we told them things. Maybe. Yeah, my, my camera. I have, like, a house camera, and it, it's been moving, like, turning. I'll have it facing, and then it'll turn against the wall. Yeah. He don't want to be seen. He does not want to be caught on camera. No, he's an old school guy. <laughs> he doesn't want to be on camera. So. Oh, it knocking on your window. It knocks on her window. Yeah. Something does. Yeah, it was 2 in the morning one night, and he just went in there tapping. Yeah, Lola's came out freaking out in the living room to me a few times saying that somebody's banging on her window. Yeah. Just all kind of shit. Which is creepy. <laughs> Just all yeah. kind of shit. So, all right. That was the vlog. Love ya. Bye. 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 Oh, Bye. Sniffy's here. Sniffy's here. Pussycat's here. Arlen's here. And Arlen Mills is here. Arlen. <laughs> He's the one tapping on the window. Like he can reach it. Gary, you can't reach. You can't reach. He, he levitates. He levitates.